Now, Hong Kong has reopened bars and eased restrictions at restaurants as the coronavirus situation eases. Theme parks and swimming pools have also reopened. At the same time, the government is warning that the next wave of COVID-19 infections expected to hit in the winter could be even more serious. As Roland Nim reports, it's already stepping up infection control measures. Locals can finally get a drink again at their favorite night spot. Remember, since mid-July, nightclubs, bars, as well as karaoke lounges have been closed. But from Friday onwards, they've reopened, but with conditions attached. No more than two people per table. They have to operate at 50% capacity and business have to be closed by midnight. Dining in restaurants will also be extended by two hours until midnight. Tables there restricted to four people per table. When asked if the government was being inconsistent in telling people to stay vigilant, but at the same time reopening venues that encourage people to crowd together, health authorities defended its move saying it's not a total relaxation, but with conditions attached. Health Minister Sophia Chan is also warning that the next wave of cases could be the worst the city has ever seen. Uh, if we look at the past uh, waves, the second wave, we have uh, more numbers than the first wave. If we look at the third wave, the number uh, is more than the second wave. And uh, we also note that there are mutations of the virus. So therefore, uh, in preparing for the fourth wave, we anticipate uh, the, uh, the number of confirmed cases, the general situation, we would be more severe. So we are planning in uh, taking that into consideration. The testing capacity has also been increased to 10,000 per day. It's also announced free voluntary testing for high-risk groups on a regular basis. This includes anyone working in care homes, restaurants, wet markets, taxi drivers, abattoirs and container terminals. Now, on efforts to secure vaccines, the health secretary says that she will be getting two doses for every Hong Kong resident. The government has set aside over a billion US dollars for vaccine procurement and has already registered under the World Health Organization's COVAX program. Roland Lim, CNA, Hong Kong.